Hello everyone, welcome to this special edition of CGTN. As we know, the Asian Civilizations Forum is underway in Beijing and we talk all about the cultural exchanges between Asian countries and as part of the program, I'm now in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou which is hosting a beer festival which is really rare in this place and behind me you can see the background is people in different styles of clothing are saying hi to you. Hello, would you like to say hi to our audience around the world? In Thai is Savatika and in Korean. Annyeong, annyeong, right? No? So you're Korean? Yeah. Would you like to say hi to our audience around the world, to the viewers, probably in Korea? What? Would you like to say hi to our audience around the world, also your friends in Korea? Uh, uh, um, we, from, we come from Korea. Annyeonghaseyo. Uh, uh, Annyeonghaseyo, hello. Hello, how are you? Are you wearing Chi Pao? Very beautiful and exquisite. Would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world? Hello. Hello. And Japan. Yes. 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 So you're from Japan, right? Yes, yes. How do you feel about this place today? It's very good. Guangzhou is very good. Very Wonderful. interesting. It's very interesting. And you have been here for quite a while. This is my first time. This is your first time to be here, right? For the Asian Civilizations, the beer festival, right? Yes, yes, yes. And would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world in your own language? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. In your own language, would you like to say hi? Uh, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Kon konbanwa. Konnichiwa is like hello, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's all the same. It's all the same, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay, so for those who just tune in, this is CGTN. We're broadcasting live in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. And just now, yeah, our friends from different parts of uh, Asia, especially, just said hi and they send their greetings to all of you. And say just now, it is a beer festival. So today or tonight, it's going to be a party. We're going to have different kinds of beers all around Asia. So let's turn around. If I turn the uh, camera around, we can see different kinds of beer. So I'm gonna to I'm gonna go to some of them and test their beers and share my experience with all of you guys. So the first one we're coming is Asahi from Japan. Just now we saw yeah some models from Japan. Of course they're represented their cultures. But how do their beers taste? So let's take a look. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you doing? Konbanwa. 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 Okay, would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world? Yeah. Uh, Zhongwen. 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 Oh, you speak Chinese. Oh, the, you speak really good Chinese. Oh, okay. So tell me something about your brand. It's Asahi, right? Uh, and what is, how, in what way do you think your brand is special? Uh, uh, Special the difference she uh, uh, angel ring. Angel ring. So it is angel ring. Why is called angel ring? Angel ring. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. 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 So it is smooth, right? Uh, uh, Pilsner, uh, uh. And the color? The color is very much like the regular beer we have in China, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Color, color is uh, very, very uh, dark color. Dark color. What is it? Uh. It, it looks good, right? You said it looks good. Pilsner, not Arabic. It's not, it's not it's, uh, uh, uh? What is it? What is it? It's a uh, Pilsner, Pilsner beer. Drug to beer, beer to beer. The higher uh, Angel Ring beer. Are you going to finish? Are you going to down it? I'm going to down it. 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 I'm going to down
Eco, 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 yeah, but let's have a closer look at the beer. Yeah, if you are a beer expert, definitely leave your comments on Facebook or Weibo and anything. I'm going to get back to your questions as soon as possible. So, today I'm going to taste some, probably sample some other beer here. It is really hot. I'm sweating like a hot today. It's around 30 degrees Celsius in southern China. Though it is, uh, I know it is freezing cold in northern China and in Beijing. It rained. I think it has snowed even in the afternoon. But yeah, anyways, let's, uh, let me have a, let's see. Yeah, I'm not a beer expert, but if you are, definitely leave your comments. If you can tell from the look, it's, um, it's a little bit orange. I mean, it's there when it comes to the color. And it is also, it tastes really smooth actually. It is not that difficult to swallow if you take a sip. Mm -hmm. Let me try it again. But the thing is, I don't see too much foam. So, do we have anything else? Do we have anything, any other brand? A brand, other brand? Uh huh. Uh, 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 the brand. Uh, che what, what is it? Uh, Cheko. Jieke. 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 Cheko, Cheko, mean by much Cheko. Sorry, I don't. Uh, Ojo, Ojo, da. Oh, in Europe, right? Oh, so it is a uh, Czech, Czech Republic, Czech right? Republic. Oh. Uh, number one beer. Number one beer. Yeah, Czech number one. In Czechoslovak, yeah. right? Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So it is golden lager, and it is the first one in the world. Uh huh. Why do we have this beer? It is Asahi, so I thought, yeah, Asahi is, but Asahi is Japan. Asahi Global. By, bought the Czech, Felisa uh, Ukwe. Yeah. So you bought the shares, actually, of the beer that was produced in Czech Republic in the first place. Now you have, Asahi has it, right? Can I sample some of the beer? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Okay, so today, tonight is gonna be my lucky day. I'm gonna sample different kinds of beers. So this one is a has Asahi in Japan. And yeah, if you have ever been to Japan properly, you have tasted some of the uh, drinks like sake that is in Japan. But I didn't know that the, uh, this place is also quite famous for is beer. But definitely I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna have a taste. So, for those who just tune in, for those who just tune in, yeah, this is CGTN. We're broadcasting live in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou, and this is a beer festival, my lucky day. So, I'm gonna taste another kind of beer that was from Czech Republic in the first place, but now it is Japanese. This one is very special. It tastes also very smooth, but not as smooth as the um, Japanese one, and I can also see. A lot of foam. Yeah, this is really good actually. I really love the beer. I'm a beer lover. And if you have any questions on Asahi, and definitely leave your comments on Facebook or Twitter and Weibo. I have my phone, my hand, and I can get back to your questions as soon as possible. Definitely leave your comments here. Okay, so now let's move on to the next place. Thank you very much. Thank you. Konbanwa. Okay. So, uh, we are now moving on to the next place. This is about Asia. This is about Asian beers. I know like the beers are usually quite famous in European countries or America. We have happy hour. Usually you have beers with your friends or anything, right? But also in Asia, we do have different kinds of beers in different countries. And now, and just now, we went to the uh, Japanese one. We went to Test the Japanese one, and now we're moving on to the next place. It is uh, Philippines, the San Miguel. So let's see what's different here. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome to the program. How are you? How are you doing? Would you like to say hi to our viewers? Sure. Hi, hi everyone. I am from the Philippine Consulate, and uh, we are here to represent our um, Philippine beer. So San Miguel beer. So it's. it's
one of the oldest beers in uh, Southeast Asia. Uh -huh. And right now we have here, uh, we are promoting one of our best uh, sellers and one of our premium beers in the Philippines, which is uh, Cerveza Negra. It is San Miguel, right? It is, uh, it is dark lager. Yes, it's dark la la lager beer. And it's uh, one of the premium beers in the Philippines and one of our best sellers uh, in the Philippines as well. Um, right now, it's not yet available in the Philippines, but... Uh, it is not available in the Philippines. Oh, sorry, in, the, in China, in China. It's not yet, it's not yet available in China. But um, we wanted to bring this here because of this event, and we wanted to share our best beer uh, with, uh, with you guys here at the Beer Festival. With us, right, with every Asian, right? Yes. Like, yeah, this is the Asian Beer Festival, so we have everything Asian. And this is Sock Lager, and now we see there are three glasses already yes. for me. Could, uh, Probably I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have a taste. Lager, okay. It's lager everywhere, actually. I've been yeah, mixing beers, I'm afraid. Just now I was in the Japanese place, and this one is in the Philippines. It tastes like very sweet. It is lager, and it is dark lager. How come it is sweet? Well, um, I think uh, it's uh, one of our, uh, this, uh, our blends. So um, it's a secret, of course, but um, it, it uh, it's because uh, the Filipinos love uh, sweet uh, food. That's why uh, we do have uh, a very sweet, uh, sweet tasting beer. But of course, we do have other um, uh, kinds of beer under San Miguel. I think those are more popular in uh, China. So if you can, uh, if you can see our uh, other uh, beers here, we do have Hongma beer, Red Horse, Red Horse, and uh, San Miguelite. So these are our. Uh, it is Red Horse beer. Are available here in China as well. So, so red horse beer is now available in China, but I don't see them, oh, unfortunately. Yeah. Somehow, oh. yeah. So you can find them in um. I I, I think they're in Seven Eleven. You can find the uh, these beers in uh, the retail stores as well as uh, convenience stores in China. Maybe uh, you could. Uh, uh, drop by a 7-Eleven store later. Yeah. Then, then tell me what makes this beer, your beer Red Horse, different from any other beer in China? Okay. Uh, or in Asia as a whole? Um, Red Horse is actually known to be a very uh, strong beer. Um, in the Philippines, it's, it's one of the strongest beers. Um, it has a alcohol. It's a, it has an alcohol content of, uh, I think it's 6 or 7% or 8%. So it's a very strong beer. The alcohol level is around 6%. I know in China usually the beer, yeah, the alcohol level is around 3.2, but yours is around six something, right? Uh huh. Let me let me have a look. Yeah, it's all in Chinese. It's eight percent, so it is much stronger than the regular beer we have in China. Yes, it is one of our strongest beers, and it's very uh, as it's very popular with the younger generation. So, um, and it's uh, well, actually one of our best sellers here in China. The best sellers here in China, right? Uh -huh. So now, in China we have Red Horse Beer, and you are about to introduce San Miguel, not San Miguel. It's uh, this kind of dark lager to the Chinese market pretty soon, right? How do, what, what, what do you think of the Chinese market, the beer market in China? You compared with that in the Philippines? Okay, I think the beer market in China is very, very big. Um, that's why San Miguel actually has a brewery here. Our San Miguel beer has a brewery in Foshan. In Foshan. So, and we have another brewery somewhere in northern China. Uh, but yeah, uh, we, we uh, think that the uh, the market, the, the beer market in China is very, uh, is very big. That's why we want to put, uh, bring in our beer here, and have, uh, and have people taste how good uh, San Miguel beer is. Uh, as I mentioned, it's one of the oldest beers in Asia. It, uh, it was established in 1890, so it's really one of the best-selling beers in, uh, in actually in Southeast Asia. Got it. Yeah, it is a very loud actually behind. We can see performances. Yeah, in that hall. And uh, now we have visited the Japanese one, also the Filipino one. And for those who just tuned in, this is CGTN. We're broadcasting live in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. It is so hot and it is steaming. Yeah, in this place. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. 
Yeah, people are really lovely here. They're all enjoying the night. Yeah, if you have any questions about beer, if you're a beer lover, definitely leave your comments down below on Facebook and Weibo and Twitter and also on the web page. You can find us almost anywhere on CGCN. So, in this place, we can see different kinds of beers, but besides that, we can also see different kinds of cuisine. Okay, so now let's move on to the next place. We'll see if there is uh, something more attractive or interesting. So we see beers and beers and beers. Leave your comments, definitely, if you want to ask us anything here. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi. Lei <laughs> How are you? Yeah, would you like to say hi to our viewers around the world? Hi, what's up? Hello, 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 everyone. We are Zhujiang Jinliang Chinese. Zhujiang Jinliang, Zhujiang Jinliang. I like your glasses. I like your glasses. So tell us something about your beer. We just now visited the Japanese one and the Filipino one, and now we land in your place. So that is called Pearl River, which is the local beer in southern China's Guangzhou. So tell us something about your beer. What's special and what kinds of beers do you have? 给我们讲一下我们有什么样的酒。然后我们刚才也去了日本那边，也去了菲律宾那边。但亚洲中国也是很大一个城市，啤酒文化也很多。给我们讲一下。那我们珠江精酿餐厅呢？现在我们有十二款啤酒。我们是珠江啤酒旗下的一款，诶，一个餐厅叫珠江精酿餐厅。那我们现在主打的是十二款的。So you have twelve. You have twelve different kinds of craft beer. Twelve of them. How come you have twelve of them? I didn't see those many just now. Yeah, in those two stands. So tell us something. About your beer and what makes your beer very special, and in what way are you so proud of your beers here? Uh,特别的，哎，我们主打呢，我们其实每一款都主打，但是卖的比较好。现在国内市场比较多人喜欢呢，就是我们的比利时白啤，比利时白啤这一款，比利时白啤对。So it is Belgium wine beer, right? So can I have a taste? Can I try this one? This one is the wine in the 12th wine. It's the most fruity. It's very fruity. Yeah, for this one it is very fruity. Can I have a taste? Can I try this one? Can I have a cup? Can I have some beer tonight? It's my lucky day. So it is Belgium. Wines and beer? Yeah, not too much. I've been mixing beers tonight. Okay. So, uh, what what way? What makes it very special? You just said it's very fruity. It's very fruity. Uh -huh. What is in it? What's the ingredient actually? What is the uh, main ingredient in it? It's the main ingredient. It's the main ingredient. 哎，里面呢是在酿酒的过程中呢，我们会有加到橙皮、橙香的味道进去，然后呢。You add some orange peel in it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 哎，还有呢，我们是没有添加到任何的添加剂。No additives, right? Yeah, I've been hearing cut. Yeah, everyone is saying we don't have any additives in our products and everything. Okay. Yeah, the same here for the beer, right? So it is craft beer, right? So, can you tell us something about craft beer, the craft beer culture in Guangzhou, in China? But we in Chinese craft beer culture is what? In our Guangzhou, we often have craft beer culture. Craft beer culture, actually, we in the United States, in Europe, and in China, the majority are craft beer culture. In China, usually, all in Asia as a whole, we have industrial beer, right? But for but for craft beer, we don't have a very long history. That is to say, in our craft beer culture, actually, China has not such a long history. China's craft beer culture actually has not such a long history. Yes, craft beer actually has not such a long history. In our country, actually, has not such a long history. Now, in the past few years, we have started to learn about it. So we only started a few years ago, right? Yes. So how about you? When did you start to know about craft beer? But you started to know about it. So how about you? When did you start to know about craft beer? But you started to know about craft beer. But you started to know about craft beer. I was in 2015. 
It's only four years for you, right? 对，那时候我们我第一次试到精酿啤酒，在广州这边，第一次试。We didn't have craft beer before, and you knew craft beer not until 2015, and it's been four years for you right now, right? And do you love craft beer compared with industrial beer we have, like on your regular day? 但是这个 craft beer， 它这个精酿啤酒和我们传统的工业这个啤酒有什么样的区别？更好喝吗？对它，因为它没有添加到更多的添加剂，然后呢，它是健康，健康，所以呢，很多运动的人呢，那他运动完之后呢，就会来一杯精酿啤酒。然后另外就是精酿啤酒呢，它是呃在短期内生产，寿命会比较短。Okay. So it, yeah, the shelf life is very short, right? And for the industrial yeah beers, probably you have additives and the shelf. The shelf life would be much longer, right? But for the craft beer, it is very different. It's also very healthy, according to you. So tell us something about some other kinds of craft beer you have here. So I see cranberry beer. Yeah. Cranberry. So it could be sweeter. Ah,、uh, sorry. Yeah. So it could be sweeter, right? It should be more sweet. It will. It will be a little bit sweet. It will be sour. Yeah, yeah, sour. Ah, then, ah, because it has added the malt flavor. It has 呃，口味是会偏酸，然后很多女性就会很喜欢这一款。还有 ，So this is actually a girl's drink, right? Girls would yeah love like cran beer, cranberry, cranberry beer, right? So anything else like you would like to tell us? I probably I could sample some of the beers here. 呃，是，呃，看一下我们这黑皮。This is dark lager. Okay. Yeah, we just tasted the dark lager in the、uh, in the Filipino place, and now so it's a different kind of dark lager. And in what way is it different? It has some different things. 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 It has some 呃，它会有不一样，它会有，呃，它其实是有咖啡的浓郁的香味。So、coffee, I can taste the coffee right here. So it smacks of coffee actually in the drink. I've never tasted anything like this before, but definitely I would like to try it now. 这个我可以尝一下吗？有咖啡颜色，有咖啡味道的。Yeah, it tastes like coffee. It doesn't have any caffeine in it, right? It here doesn't have caffeine, but I can I can sleep tonight. No, no, no. It's just a taste like coffee. It only smacks of coffee. Yeah, yeah I, it is very foamy. It's really foamy. The foamiest one I've ever tasted tonight, and it's gonna taste like coffee. Yeah, it's very much like coffee without sugar. Yeah, but I definitely could see some cream here if it is a coffee.、Okay. Yeah, the second sip it tastes really, really bitter. It tastes really bitter, but 喝起来还挺苦的。什么？喝起来还是挺苦的。Like which one is your favorite? 你最喜欢的是哪一个？呃，我最喜欢的一款的话会是比利时白。比利时白啤 ，like the Belgian one, right? Did I taste that just now? 我刚才喝过这个吗 ？I did. 对，有对对。然后是这个，这个 that one, right? Uh huh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Yeah, Paul River here. See you. Okay, for those who just tuned in, this is CGTN. We're broadcasting live in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. It's a beer festival. It's about Asia, and we just had some Asian beers: the Filipino one, the Japanese one, also the Chinese one. And Pearl River, we visited just now, is the local beer in Guangzhou. But yeah, I don't think like people from the south of China are very much into like beers or alcohol or anything like that. But some of them are really good, actually. Okay. So definitely share our post if you like it with your friends, and you can also leave your comments if you have any questions now. And we'll get back to your questions even after this live stream. So I'm gonna see you, yeah, until I find something more interesting.、I'll、see you next time. See you. Bye bye. Have a good night. Yeah, in China, if you're Asia, have a good night. If you're in America, good morning. Bye bye.
see you next time.